Hello Hang Time Golfers and welcome back to the channel. I'm here at my home course, Hernando Oaks Golf and Country Club, Brooks, Florida. Today I'm doing a segment, a small segment on chipping, more specifically dead hands chipping. Dead hands chipping refers to quiet hands. In other words, I'm not breaking my wrists at all and I'm just a pendulum, more like a pendulum, like this. And I'm using the bounce of the club, the bounce of the club on the bottom. And it's a pendulum. It's almost like putting in a way of course naturally the grip is different and the stance is different but with putting it's a pendulum as well well with dead hands chipping it's the same theory with regard to that and it's actually a little more accurate especially when you first start out in the season or you're having trouble with chipping and you want to find a better solution where you can pick up some more strokes or or save par a lot you know so what I, what I do is I choke down on my club about an inch and a half or so I'm using a sand wedge it's 56 degrees and I'm going to use the bounce of the club, like I said, and I'm going to have a little bit of a forward press. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I look at the back of the ball, okay, and my stance is pretty tight. It's open a little bit, but there's actually no movement in my lower body. And I go right up to the ball, and I, I go straight back and straight forward like that. No movement in your wrist. And if you hit this shot correctly, if you execute it correctly, the ball comes off the club face with almost no spin. You can actually read the writing on it, that, if, it's, if it's done correctly, you know you did it right. If it's because the ball comes out dead, and w when it hits the uh, uh, the green, it'll roll out to where hopefully you read it as if it was a putt. So here we go. Do a couple like this. A little bit of a forward press. I'm looking at the back of the ball. It had almost no spin on it at all. Try it again. And you always take a few practice swings. Let the, let the bounce of the club hit the ground, like this, so you get a feel. That's all you have to do. You're actually hitting the ground just before you hit the ball, because the bounce will bounce the club head back up into the ball, and the ball will go. Just like that. Little forward press. Look at your line as if you're reading a putt. That's perfect. That's right next to the hole. I'm 36 feet away right now. But I use a sandwich 56 degrees, and that's what I use. You can use a pitching wedge or whatever you want. But the dead hands chip will save you a lot of strokes, especially if you're having trouble chipping at all. It's one of, you, one of the weaknesses in your game, or you're new at the game. Dead hands chipping to start out with the fundamental is, is really a great, great tool. Like I said, I use it in the uh, beginning of the season, and it helps me out quite a bit. I'm going to show you down the line what it looks like, uh, so stay tuned. All right, so I set the camera up behind the pin here. I have about a 36 foot chip just off the green. It's downhill and it's going to break to the left a little bit. So you have to kind of read this as if it was a putt. I'm going to show you my technique and the ball comes out dead, like I said, almost no spin, almost no revolution on the ball and it rolls out to where you need to roll it out to. So you can see how handy that really is. It hits the, uh, the green and it rolls out. It almost has no spin on it at all. That's a foot, almost two feet away. That's a little over three feet away. If you're within that circle, you have a really good chance of saving par. Also, what I do for myself is both hands make and take an equal part, 50-50. Both hands are engaged equally in this, just like it is on my putter. Now, there are a lot of golfers that have a dominant right or left hand uh, side and that's fine and they play that way and they like it but I share the burden with both hands equally on the club to me it gives me more accuracy it really does but this is a great tool for someone who's either just starting or having trouble chipping and learning to do the head dead hands chip uh, it's awesome like I said I use it all the time mostly in the beginning of the season though so there's really nothing magical about this it's one of the simplest shots there is you, you practice this uh, and when you go, become proficient at it you will save strokes. You may save two strokes aside, just in the beginning, two to three strokes aside. You'll see, you'll be able to save that par. 
or just make a bogey instead of a double bogey, you know? Anyway, that being said, the next video after this has to do with flop shots. I did a little segment on flop shots, so please stay tuned for that. We ask you to please like and subscribe uh, to our channel, and I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, we'll see you on the next golf course.